friends, check it out. A 3D printer you can hold in one arm. It is the Tina 2 Plus from Antina. I'm going to test it out. So let's get cracking. All right, so let's start with what is in the box. Seal was not broken. Inside the box, we've got a warranty. We'll check that out in a minute. We've got a tiny roll of filament. The power brick, a compact nozzle. Paste, SD card, reader for your PC or a converter. SD card, couple of hex wrenches, a power cable, and this, flip this on its side, and it slides out pretty darn easy. Stand that back up. Notice it is taped around the side. And let's separate these carefully. To get access to the Tina Thule. And there it is, the Antina Tina 2 Plus. Of course, step one is to check the quick start guide. Make sure you double check all the safety warnings. Of course, those are the accessories. They give us the product overview. If we move on down here, you can see the specifications, slicing software, WeBuilder, Kira, Kiri, also the filament types. It does use PLA, TPU, and PETG. It does specify over here on the side, the use of third-party filaments is prohibited. Each disc of filament requires a different temperature. Please adjust to the best. Also, if it's damp or dusty, it will cause clogging. Please do not use it. Simple steps. Get rid of the bubble wrap or the foam. Peel off the tape near the lead screw and remove that top sticker. That's easy peasy. I'm going to easily cut this tape right over here, which makes it easier to remove. And snake it around a few times to get it peeled out. Let's get in here and remove this shaft coupling shell. It just spins out the back. Of course, next up is this top sticker. So that tip is peeled off. We do have to attach this to the extruder. That is done. And then check this out. You can pull out the filament holder. How cool is that? All right, everybody. Next up is the power brick. And it simply plugs in right here. One interesting feature. On off button is right there. Powered on. The included filament is 1.75 milliliter PLA. 180 to 210 I'm going to snip off this so it's a little straighter. And then it feeds from underneath and let's hit next. Nozzle is heating up. Notice that is quite fast. There is 210, so now I've got the filament in. I'm going to squeeze and just get it started. It is feeding. I can feel it over here as I hold the reel. And right now we can hit continue because it is finished. Next step is to insert the TF card. I have just snagged it from the protective case. They gave us a little picture showing that the little edges go this way. And bingo, in it goes. Now I can hit next. It is rebooting. First time letting you see the Tina 2S Plus. Friends, I've quickly bounced out to the HL Mod Tech webpage and I'm on the 3D Printers tab. For my first print, I always like to use this cube file. If you don't have it, you can download it right there. We are going to use Kira for this project. I'm going to quickly switch to all apps. Go down to Ultimaker and I want Kira 5.8. It is a totally free download. When it launches, it'll look similar to this. I'm going to click on this down arrow and we are going to choose add a 3D printer. It is a non-Ultimaker printer. We're going to choose the non-networked devices. And if you scroll down, we can find the Antina and the Tina 2S. And simply hit add. I'm going to put the word plus out here just to make it more clean. Bingo. That is our printer. I'm going to quickly add that file. 
By clicking up here, you'll have to look for wherever you downloaded and extracted that file. I'm going to simply type 1C, which is how I named it 1Cube, because it is a centimeter cube. And double click to launch it. When it loads, you can right click and drag to look at it from every angle. It is a super simple print, but it is a great way to have success. As you can see, it's only going to take about seven minutes while using the draft settings. We are printing with PLA. I'm going to bump up this number to 215 based on what they showed on that page. I'm going to do a build plate of 50. I'm going to keep the print speed at 40. Cooling will be on. I do not want any raft. Instead, I would rather have skirt. I like to do five lines of skirt. And I'm going to push those out 10 millimeters from the project. I'm going to quickly insert the SD card in that little reader. As you can see, the card pops up. And now over here, I can choose Save to Removable Disk. With it saved, I'm going to eject it. And let's head over to the 3D printer. So step one for me is going to be to set my Z offset. We are going to scroll down and we are going to click on the control choice. Once we get there, we press it in and we're going to move to probe Z offset. Once again, when you get it down there, simply press the button. I've sped this up with video editing, but once we get in there, I have found negative two is the offset that works best with my machine. This may require a little bit of guess and check on your end. With that complete, you can see I've got that SD card inserted. We're going to move down to print from TF. Find that one cube and press the button and choose print to get it started. And after about eight minutes, check it out. A fantastic tiny cube. How cool is that? All right, friends. So let's wrap up the experience with the Tina 2S. First, love the out of the box experience. It is so simple to unpack, remove some tape, and bingo, you're ready to get that bed set and do your first print. Now, I like to use Cura. They mentioned on the box that you should use their version of Cura. I found that the profile was already built in, and I always love using the updated steps. Of course, I always recommend using that tiny cube that you can find on my website and download. It is a fantastic tool for getting that first print done successfully. On the SD card, there are prints, but the shortest one is more than 20 minutes, so that's just more time waiting for you to have your first successful print. If you're interested in more information about this printer, it can be found on Amazon.com. Of course, if you check the description of this video, I will provide a link for you. Of course, friends, make sure you stay tuned because there will be more videos to come. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.